Hey, how is it going everyone? Today I want to start a video series about uh, wine and about uh, using wine for uh, playing games, Windows games on Linux and also to use some other softwares. So, on this video I'm going to show you how to install wine and I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, vanilla wine wine staging and uh, wine gallium 9 all right so I'm actually I'm using Arch Linux and I'm going to uh, tell you how to install wine on Arch Linux and also how to install wine on Ubuntu so this should cover uh, all the Ubuntu flavors Linux Mint, uh, Elementary OS etc and all the others all right the first problem is which wine I should install. I should install the stable, I should install the latest development version, I should install maybe something, I don't know, something less, maybe 1.9.15 or whatever. So, if your main goal is to uh, play Windows game on Linux, you should install the late, always the latest version, the latest development version. All right, I'm going to show you. I'm going to tell you why later. If you have uh, just a software or uh, some software that are not games, maybe I don't know FL Studio, for example, to play music or something else, you maybe want to install the stable version, and that's it. I mean, once the software works, you don't need to change stuff or. Uh, uh, upgrading wine every time all right but probably you're here for video games to play Windows video games on Linux so I'm going to actually tell you why you always need or it, it, will, it will be great if you have always the latest development version I'm going to show you by opening let's see the details about the release of let's take the 1.9.20 what's new in this release so what's news means what's new uh, from wine 1.9.19 all right so let's see here and by the way my connection has to sucks just right now perfectly when I'm doing the video all right there we are so what's new in this release implementing this blah 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 these are and yeah these are some uh, some details for what's new also some various bug fixes if you go here and you see the bugs fi fixes on this new version you see that's mainly for games like age of mythology here and world of tanks GOG galaxy and MD Radeon Nvidia GTX it's mainly bugs for for games all right and this is uh, an upgrade to the previous version so in one 1.9.20 you'll get everything that was in the one 1.9.19 version plus all these bug, si bug fixes the same goes for all the all the other uh, uh, new version all right the uh, dot 21 you're gonna get everything plus some new bug fixes. Point uh, dot twenty two. You'll get everything that is in here, plus some other bug fixes. So it's always an upgrade, and it, it will always uh, improve uh, and improve for every release. That's why it will it will be great if you get the latest development version for uh, for playing games. All right. So if you are on Ubuntu. No, I don't need to go on the wiki. I need to go here. If you are on Ubuntu, Linux Mint, etc., you probably have a super old version, maybe 1.6 or maybe not. Anyway, you are not going to have the, the latest version, or at least it will pass some months before having it. So, to always have the latest uh, development version, you need to to follow these comments, all right, to add this architecture, the 32-bit, 
first system 64 bit enable the 32 bit architecture if you haven't already by the way and then add this repository here so ppa wine slash wine uh, dash builds then update and then install with install recommends wine all right hq uh, dash devils now this is to get the standard wine version which is also called vanilla wine all right it's referred as vanilla wine now there are so there are some uh, uh, patches and improvements for the vanilla wine especially for playing video games and this is possible because wine is an open source software you know so the maybe one of the most important is wine staging and it has actually the C CSMT command stream multi threadings for better graphic performance plus some other patches now this is very important and this many times I'll say let's say 95% it will improve your performances all right now to install to install wine staging on Ubuntu you'll have to do uh, where are we here you'll have to add actually the same PPA and then install wine staging so you you you'll find everything in there so let's go to gallium 9 and I will try to explain uh, as short as possible what's the difference between wine wine staging and wine gallium 9 let's say let's say that uh, Windows games are uh, developed okay using DirectX all right which is an API now DirectX is a, a close uh, so yeah it's a proprietary uh, software proprietary API for Windows so that's why you have uh, you don't have so, so many games in Linux because the developers uses uh, an API to create their games which is Windows only and by the way Windows know this and they wanted all the games to be Windows only you know so that people continue to use Windows still uses Windows uh, even if there are plenty of viruses if it spies uh, your uh, your entire computer they still use windowses because all the games are developed using something that it's closed it's just closed to windows all right and uh, for everything else i mean mac and linux there is opengl which as the name is suggest is open so it's multi platform it works on windows it works on linux mac etc now what wine does it creates um, uh, like a translation all right a layer compatibility layer for DirectX to OpenGL basically it translates DirectX to OpenGL now uh, when uh, yeah when staging improve this translation with the CSMT patch it improves a lot so that's why you have more uh, FPS and uh, better performances now what what's gallium 9 does actually it doesn't translate the, the DirectX call to OpenGL instead on the gallium framework framework they implemented uh, direct direct 3d all right and actually direct direct takes 9 just the nine all right not the seven eight and the previous but just the nine one so there is no uh, translation actually and you can consider the game as native actually this is a uh, longer uh, there I, I can speak or I can tell you a lot about this but it's not the point of this video anyway with Gallium 9 you will have uh, the performances as closed as Windows as possible all right but there is a problem with Gallium 9 and the problem is that Gallium 9 uh, works only with the Mesa 
so with open source drivers. So uh, if you are an NVIDIA user, if you're using NVIDIA, you are not going to be able to use Gallium 9 if you are using the proprietary, proprietary drivers. So if you are an NVIDIA, you are probably using the proprietary drivers because they are better than the open source driver drivers for uh, NVIDIA. So you don't want to install Gallium 9 if you are using the proprietary drivers on NVIDIA. All right, is that clear? If you're using AMD as I am, you may want to use Gallium 9 or at least to try it because it improves the performances a lot in almost every game. You know, some games have bugs, some games doesn't work with Gallium 9, but mm, let's say 95% of the times or maybe a little bit more, it improves the performances a lot. I mean, twice or three times uh, the FPS that you get with wine, with the vanilla wine. All right, if you want to install uh, Gallium 9, there is a PPA, <coughs> uh, which is called, uh, actually, maybe you want to, <coughs> to install the latest drivers first, but, this maybe maybe you are able to to play Gallium now to play to use wine with Gallium I also without this PPA. Anyway, it's suggested that you install first the OIBUF PPA, which will give you the latest uh, uh, open source Mesa drivers, and then install this wine, which is uh, maintained by Sarnex. All right. So you want to install, uh, you want to add this PPA here and then just install Wine, uh, the latest that you find there. <clears throat> and then you have Gallium 9 support. All right. So all this to Arch Linux. Mm, it's actually easier. Pac-Man. For Arch Linux is super easy because everything is there, everything is on the latest development, you get the latest software, it's a rolling release, you know. So on the official repositories you have the latest wine, vanilla wine dot twenty-two, all right? And the wine staging, the latest wine staging. Actually, no, the dot twenty-one still has to come, the dot twenty-two. But I will come in and the matter of days, all right. And if you want to install uh, Gallium 9, there is a great, I will call it great because it it's really is a great uh, uh, package on uh, the Our Arch user repositories, and you can easily install by uh, typing Yaourt Gaming 9. and then just install it. It actually has this uh, package, has uh, Gallium 9 supports, and it's built upon, uh, it's based off wine staging, so you will have the wine staging uh, patches, plus Gallium 9 patches, plus some other patches, which are very important, especially for Steam. I'm gonna talk about this uh, package, Wine Gaming 9, later and I'll, I'm going to show you maybe the differences that you will get if you're not using Arch Linux. All right, actually I'm going to show you now how to use, or maybe I will, I will do another video, yeah. All right, I'll stop here and uh, I hope you, you learn how to install Wine and on the next video I'm gonna straight on uh, how to use Wine, all right. I'll see you in the next video.